So in this question, we're just going to go and have a look at the effect of alcohol and liver cirrhosis. So it, the question says, consuming alcohol with meals instead of not with meals decreases the relative risk of developing liver cirrhosis, which leads to liver failure. So describe the effects of liver failure on the body. Right, there are a number of key things we need to talk about. So the first thing, remember that the liver stores glycogen. So if it can't store glycogen, it can't go and help control blood glucose, which can go and lead to diabetes or hyperglycemia, something like that. Uh, remember the liver goes and breaks down lactic acid. So if we go and we increase the amount of lactic acid in the blood, that can go and be toxic to the body and cause things like muscle fatigue and muscle pain. Remember that amino acids are broken down in the liver. So if the, you've got liver cirrhosis, you're not making urea and ammonia can be formed instead, which is toxic. Next thing, the liver breaks down other toxins. So if it's not breaking down other toxins, that could go and lead to the body being poisoned by it. Uh, we've already talked about glycogen. And finally, the fact that no bile is going to be made by the liver. Right, so remember bile is needed to go and emulsify fats and lipids. Right, so that goes and increases the surface area of fats and lipids. Right, it also goes and helps neutralize the stomach acid. So if you've got no bile, then the enzymes won't work as efficiently at breaking down lipids in the body, so they won't be able to be absorbed. So a person might actually end up going and losing weight because they're not absorbing those nutrients. So just a few key things that you need to think about when answering this type of question.